Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we will talk about TensorFlow.js, deep learning for pattern recognition, the part one teachable machine with Google. TensorFlow is actually a machine learning module developed by Google. Recently, they expanded TensorFlow to TensorFlow.js for web applications. Here, deep learning and machine learning refer to about the same meaning, where deep learning focus on the deep architecture, massive architecture of the neural network, while machine learning refer to capability of a computer system, machine system, learn from data. Please spend some second, subscribe to my channel, share with others, and give me a like. Let's see the scope of today. Part 1. Teachable Machine with Google It is very important to highlight there is no programming needed for part 1. You can be anyone with a computer uh, installed with Windows 10, view in the webcam with the Google account and then you can perform some training, some testing online just like what I showed in the opening video. No programming needed for this part 1. Okay. We will use a uh, Google service, so-called teachable.withgoogle.com for design, data collection, training of deep learning, real-time testing, and so on. There are many ways to start TensorFraud.js. One easiest way is to use the teachable.google.com. In this uh, Google service, we can perform image recognition for faces, color, object, and so on. Meanwhile, it can also perform sound recognition, post recognition. In the upcoming video, which is the part 2 or probably part 3, we were doing some programming implementation using Node-RED, Node.js, Python, or even Google Collapse. First, go to Teachable machine dot with google.com okay under this website uh, let's click get started select image project okay so by default they are class one and class two we can change the name maybe i make it uh, zoom it a little bit bigger okay let's say class one i just say yeah wait glasses okay glass 2 i change it to yup without glasses okay actually you can train the teachable machine which is actually deep learning tensorflow js of google with different faces or different object but because i'm alone here let's start with two class number one yup with glasses and number two, yeah, without glasses. We can start training by select the webcam. Okay. Uh, your webcam uh, ask for your permission so that the teachable machine dot with Google can use the webcam. So I allow. So now, as you can see, uh, this is a real-time capturing. Holding, hold to record will capture the image where I wear glass. I wear glasses. So let's start. I need to make some changes or we capture about 100 images that will be enough okay 162 is it's okay no problem so now let's move to the class 2 okay the class 2 okay again we click on the webcam we allow the webcam okay? and then i have to remove my my glasses because this is a class 2 yeah without glasses so let's hold okay and make some changes okay so so how many already 141 it is about the same 141 and 162 is about the same so we're done uh, for simplicity without changing the advanced parameter we just click training train the model so the deep learning neural network is start training behind uh, the, the server of the google okay it will take about 30 seconds to probably 45 seconds. Okay. 
So training is done. Uh, teachable machine would like to access my webcam for testing. Why not? So allowed for testing. So you can see this is a real time. My face uh, show on the webcam. And the classification is yep with glasses. Of course, yep with glasses. I can uh, remove my. Then it, it, the classification result my goes to yep without glasses. So don't forget to save. It's always always uh, important to save. You need to save to the Google Drive. Okay, for the first time you need to log into a Google Drive. You need to have a Google Drive account. Let's say this is a Google Drive I want to save. So, uh, select a name, uh, I 03 because I already have 01 and 02. So, any name you like to put, so as long as you remember. Can we add one more class? Existing, there are two classes. Okay, now we add one more class. Okay, if you have two person, now you can have a third person. But unfortunately, I'm here by myself, so I can just uh, with glasses, without glasses, and a class three. Nobody, yeah, nobody, nobody. I'm going to use a webcam to capture images of nobody. Capture, okay. Oh, this is nobody. A lot of nobody photo, okay. Just a uh, background without me. Maybe about hundred page, hundred images enough. Okay, less enough. Okay, now we have uh, three classes. The third class is nobody. Start training. Okay, the training will take about a minute, more or less a minute. So training is finished. Okay, is finished. Let's goes to allow. So now the recognition, the classification have three class. Supposedly has three class. Uh, uh, yeah, with glasses. Yeah, without glasses. And the third class, nobody. Nobody. I need to move myself away or I move away. The, if I move myself away, it becomes nobody. Yes. If I come back, you will be yeah, with glasses. Okay. Uh, you can mix with object, not necessarily just uh, uh, human or without human. You can mix with object. For example, if I would like to uh, these books, okay. Of course, I'm here. It classify as a as a yard with glasses. Without me, it classify as a background. I mean, nobody. So, can I teach object as well? The answer is yes. Let's create a a new class. Let's create a new class. Click on a new class. So, change the name to book. For example, okay. So now let's create a use a webcam. Webcam, okay. And uh, we need to use the webcam to capture the books without me, of course, without me to avoid confusion, okay. Yeah, there's the books, okay. Some photo, I can open up the book also. Another, some other photos as well, okay. Some other photo as well. This is books. So maybe up to about 100 photo. So we stop. Now we can train the model again. A minute or two to train. Now training started. I will skip to the end when training finish. So training has been completed. Let's allow the webcam. And uh, this is a real time. There are four classes. Yeah, with glasses. Yeah, without glasses. Nobody and the books. So I'm here. So it's definitely yeah with glass. If I run away, there's nobody. Definitely. If the books going to the screen, it goes to the books. Okay. okay. If I open up the books, it is again the books. If I come back, I remove my. Yup, without glass again. So, next question and last question: Can we add with animals? The answer is yes. We can add the animals. Let me get my cat here to add the animals glass. So this is 
is one of my cat. I'm going to add one more class. I'm going to add one class called uh, cat and me. So there are two objects inside cat and me. Okay, as usual, we need to use a webcam to capture about 50 images of me with the cats. cats. Okay. So let's hold the record button and then we will start recording about 100 images. Okay, about 100 images. Okay, good. 186. Why not? That should be fine. So, we will start train the model. This time, the training uh, may be longer because we have more. We have five classes. Now, training almost finished. So, training is finished. Let's allow the testing. Okay. The webcam will start capturing real time. That is me with glass. As you can see from the screen, me with glass. Let me make it a little bit smaller so that you can see all the five classes. This is Yap with glass printed. Yap without glass. Okay. If I move away, it will be nobody. Nobody. D. To solve the confusion, we just have to create more training sample. Yeah. And then this is the books. Okay. Let's get the cat. Let's get the cat. Come. Okay, let's get the cat here. Come. Right? So now I have the cat. Yes, this is a cat and yaps. Perfectly recognized cat and yap together. This is just me. This is cat and me. Okay, so thank you. Don't forget to save. Don't forget to save. And uh, before you stop, don't forget to save your project to drive. Okay. okay, so this is cat and yup. This is just yup. This is cat and yup. <laughs> this is just yup. Okay. So we will move to the next. So you can mix person, different person, Mr. A, Mr. B, mix X, mix Y. You can mix person, object, animals, or even general background. So, this part so far we don't did any programming. The programming will be in the next part, which is you need to first thing to do export model. But I will show you in the next video. We have completed the part one. In the next video, the part two, I will demonstrate the programming implementation using Node RAID and Node.js. Please subscribe to my video, give a like, and share with others. Bye bye.